G'day and welcome back to Fun with Canva. Today we're on the road, so there might be a little bit of noise outside, like revved up cars and everything. So bear with me on that one. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about Typecraft and Canva's app called Typecraft. So we're going to use that. So let's get stuck into it. So what do we do? We go to Home and we go to Apps. That's one way of getting into it. And in here we go type craft. And you'll see that uh, type craft comes up. So we can click on that. And then we can click on this uh, icon here. The other way that we can go about it is open up a design and come down to type craft. And click on the type craft app. And it will bring this up so we can change our text uh, to anything so we're going to create like three rows of text so we'll um, uh, what will we do let's go like this so we'll go I love As the first line come down here and we'll scroll through some text fonts and I like this one here so we'll choose this one all right now what we're gonna do is create like a pers uh, perspective so in creating a perspective we've got to increase the text up Right, so we're going to create the perspective this way. All right. And increase this up here. And go like this. Okay, we're going to have a flat top and an angled bottom. So what I'll also do is come over here and oh, actually it, I can bring some rulers into it. I'll just line them up for the sake of this tutorial. I'll just line them up with this and I'll bring one down. Line it up there and bring the other one and line it up there. So there are rulers that will basically guide us through uh, making sure that the Typecraft text lines up. <clears throat> so we'll just add that into the design and we'll bring it up to the top here and drag it out. So you can see just at the top there, we need to bring it up slightly and slightly bring it out. And then we just go update element. All right, bring it up slightly more. Update element. All right, and you can see that that is fairly well lined up so we'll duplicate that always duplicate it because if you don't it'll muck up the other text and we'll bring this down to the bottom and we'll line up the bottom like this Drag that one down. Okay, and like before, we can go update element. 
All right, we'll just bring this up. Okay, so we need to bring down the bottom slightly. Update element again. All right, now at the top here, we want to have the text running backwards. So we'll bring this down. Like this. Okay, we'll update element again. All right, we want to bring this down a bit more here. Like so. Like that. We'll update element again. Okay. All right, we need to straighten up the eye slightly. Update element. All right, straighten up the bottom slightly. When you get this part of the Typecraft text correct, it really looks good. All right, so you can see there that uh, we've basically got two words running that way and running that way. All right, so what we can do is come in here and we can change this text. And we're going to say, I love uh, strawberry jam. So the bottom, bottom word will be jam. So we'll just update that. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll decrease that down. Okay, like that. Okay, because the word strawberry is quite long. Just tidy that up a little bit to the left. Okay, and now we'll duplicate this one. And this will be the middle word. All right, so what we want to do is we'll just bring this down here to give ourselves a bit of room. All right, then we want to make this one large. Okay, like that. All right, we'll line that up there. Okay. Like that. And we'll change the text. All right. I'll update text just to see what it looks like all right that's not too bad so we'll just increase this up slightly like that drop this down 
like that. We'll tidy that up there. Tidy that up there. Slowly getting there. Okay. Go there. Go update. All right, we just need to drop it down a bit more. All right. Like that. Update. Drop this down. All right, straighten that up. Okay. And what we're looking for is pretty much just a even line between each row of text. Okay, so we'll just increase this up. fiddly this okay all right so that doesn't look too bad we'll bring this down here and we'll just straighten that up all right I think that looks pretty good so what we'll do now is we'll just um, change the text color because we can't have it all black. Um, so strawberry jam is red. So we'll come over to here, go edit. Um, Actually, what we what we need to do is we need to download this to make it a image itself. So we'll highlight all and Download selection, don't highlight all, just hi highlight individual. Download selection and go transparent background and go download and it will download into the folder. So we want to go to Uh, Typecraft tutorial, okay. Once that downloads, uh, once that downloads, um, then we will download the next one. So download selection, go transparent background, download. So I'm working out of the car at the moment, so it's a little bit delayed. Uh, go untitled design number two. And last but not least, the jam. So again, download selection transparent background download and call that number three okay so then we want to come over here to add page and we'll click on that we'll come over to uploads we'll go to upload files we'll highlight these and go open Alright, 
that'll upload. All right, so you can see that's transparent background. We'll click on that, drag that in. Click on this one, drag that in. Click on that one and drag that in. All right, so just expand these out to the edges of our design. All right, as you can see there, that we've got a nice little gap between each row. So what we can do now is come over to Edit Photo, and we go over to Duotone, click on Duotone, go to Custom, and I love, okay, I'm gonna change that to an orangey color up here. Okay, again on the eyedropper, change that to I love. Now what you can do is you can duplicate the I love, place it over the top, drag the top layer of text, left hand side crop in between I and L, and then you can also change the color of the I so we'll make that a green color. Come here, I drop bar green. And if I've done it correctly, ah, oh, that's what I did. I dragged on the ruler. So highlight there. And I wanna actually grab the text. So I'll grab that and drag it over. All right, so just make sure that you grab the ruler. Then I highlight the back layer and we'll come over here again and we'll go to green and grab the eyedropper, click on the green, uh, grab the eyedropper, click on the green and there you have it. So you've got different colored I and a different colored L. Then again, just change that all the way down. Custom. So strawberry, <coughs> excuse me, is red. So we'll change that to red. Okay. Click on there. Grab the eyedropper. Click on that. Ay -ay -ay. Click on that. I love strawberry. Click on custom as well. Come over here. We'll change that to a maybe a, a darker red. Hey, yay. Okay, so there you have it. Um, that's using the Canva Typecraft app to create a row of three text lines. I love Strawberry Jam. Thank you very much and appreciate your time to uh, watch this tutorial. I hope you learned something. All the best and see you next time. Fun with Canva over and out. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.